Today we are back in the shop talking about the best damn wood clamps you will ever own in your life. All right, so you're like me and you love woodworking. You got your two pieces of pine right here. You join them, you plane them, and oh, they go together. Oh, so smooth. And the reason why you're using pine to begin with is because the wood prices are so damn expensive, you can't afford maple. Because God forbid you buy some maple, and next thing you know, you're broke because the wood prices are so high. Nope. Nope. I'm not gonna get into that. So I've always owned a bunch of woodworking clamps, some better than others, and some just shit. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of these things work ah, Some of them work great, some of them work okay, and some of them work eh, not so good. Maybe you're making a workbench or a table or whatever you're making. You just need to put the two pieces of wood or three or four or five pieces of wood together. See, my problem was or is I am very cheap and sometimes I buy cheap tools that make my life a lot harder. I have a lot. I bought them cheap at the Home Depot. I bought them at Harbor Freight. And I really just ended up struggling. However, the clamps that I am going to show you today are going to change your life and you will never use another cheap clamp ever, ever again. This, my friends, is the Bessie K-Body Revolution clamp. This thing is so good, you will never ever go back to the cheapos again. I'm gonna show you how to use this thing, the benefits of using this thing, and a really cool feature that you can do with this clamp where you can't do with others. Yeah, that's right. It involves this thing right here. All right, so this is what these are going to look like as soon as they come out of the box. Now you can buy these in different sizes. One of these are 31 inch and the other is 50. Now, even though you can buy these in different lengths, I can assure you with the cool feature that this clamp offers, size really does not matter. I made a joke. All right, let's take a look at these clamps. That is what it looks like when these things come straight out of the box. You're gonna have a couple zip ties you're gonna have to cut off, but it's really simple to get started. FYI, those black clips that the zip tie is going through, do not throw those things away. I will show you why you need them here in a bit. All right, let's go ahead and take the zip ties off of the newer clamps here. Yep, zip tie down here as well. Again, do not lose that black piece. All right, so right off the bat here, I wanna show you some crazy cool features that are minute, but you're gonna sit there and say to yourself, how have I ever lived so long without this? And then we're going to get into the really cool stuff. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is the back of the rail system here. You have these little tabs. This back system here does a couple different things. One is you can use this tab to level out your clamp completely. And what I mean by that is if you take your clamp and put it down on your flat area or your work surface, you run that out like that, well, this will sit at the exact same height as the front of the clamp. In return, if I am working with materials such as epoxy, this will sit completely flush. And now you don't have to worry about your epoxy running to one side or the other as it'll level out very, very smoothly. So smooth. Now, this is a picture of those cheaper clamps that I picked up at the Harbor Freight. You can see that glue gets in there and it's sticky and it's nasty and it just ruins the clamps and make them hard to use. But those black pieces, well, they have a very special feature that will prevent this from happening. Right here, you got these sliding brackets. What do they do? Well, it's very simple. When you put your wood up on top of here, you're gonna glue it, obviously. Like I showed you on that cheap clamp, the glue goes all over the place, but with this, you can actually adjust these where you want them, put your wood down on top. When it's glued up, you don't have to worry about that glue gunking up your bar. And that's real nice like. But don't worry, if you don't want them on there, just take them off. But again, that is not the only cool thing this does. Now, don't worry, I am going to show you exactly how these clamp down and the holding capacity, we're gonna talk about all that. But I gotta show you this one other really cool feature. Remember the back here that I told you about? Well, not only does this keep this level, so if you're using epoxy, it won't run all over the place, but you can take these out. Check this out. And now we're gonna take our second clamp or we're gonna take this off. Remember I told you size doesn't matter? We're gonna find out why. All right, so we're gonna take the second one off right here. Hey, real quick, I just wanna say I am sorry if you're picking up any background noise in this video. I got my heater going. It's very cold outside, 17 freaking degrees and I'm out in the shop. Why do I do this? For you. Am I a hero? <laughs> Probably. All right, so real quick, I'm going to take these off as well. 
And then now what I'm going to do is take the back piece of my clamp off right here where you actually tighten everything down. We're gonna take this off like so. Very simple to do. We're going to do the exact same thing for our second clamp. So I'm just going to loosen that up, pull up on that, bring it back. Take it off like that. All right, so basically what we have right here is just the bar with the end piece. Ah! Don't worry, they're built good, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, so what we're gonna do here is going to blow your mind. So I'm gonna come down here and I am going to put this on like so. So just bring that back to the end. All right, so that is where this little clamp comes in. This thing is so freaking cool, very easy to put together. All right, just real quick, let me show you again how I had this set up. Here is the end of your clamp. You have the bar, the hole, and then right here is your second clamp. You got the hole because we took that piece out. And then we put our tightening piece down right here. And it's going to look like that. All right, you can see right here that you have two rubber pads right here for the feet. And then you have two very heavy duty bolts right here on the side. We're gonna remove these bolts. We're just simply going to unloosen them. And now all you got are a bunch of holes. You got three all together. You can use any one of these three, but we're just going to use the two right here. All right, this is what we got going on. So we're gonna take this bracket. It's going to have the feet down. It's going to match up with this right here. So feet down, and we're going to slide that in like so. You're gonna take your bolt, you're gonna come up through, and now you just take that washer and then your nut and put that down like that. And now we are going to do the exact same thing. You want this facing up. You're gonna bring that, put it in like so, line those holes up, throw in that sweet, sweet bolt right there, washer, tighten that down. I can take those two pieces now that prevent the glue from ending up on the bar and then put those back on. I'll put the two from this clamp right here and adjust them where needed. I never took these two off, so I can just adjust them where I want those. And now I just turned my 31 inch clamp and my 50 inch clamp into an 85 inch clamp. What? Yeah, that's what's up my dude and do that. I'm telling you, you make a big workbench or maybe you're building a dining room table that you want to fit 43,000 people at. <laughs> you can do it with these clamps. That is freaking cool. Super easy to do, only takes a couple minutes, and yeah, that clamp is inexpensive as well. I'll put a link for it in the description too. And now, if you're done doing your work, you don't need it that large anymore, well, just take everything apart and put the clamps back together like they were before. Stuff like this is so cool to me. You can basically take two tools and make them into one and have them work together. It is just such a cool thing, and it's just so versatile. And not only that, I'm using the 31 inch with the 50 inch. If I had the 50 and the 50, you were talking some crazy distance. But let's talk about the actual clamp itself too. This thing is so easy to use. If I want to push this thing out, the only thing I'd have to do is loosen it up, pull up on it a little bit, push out, pull in, and it glides. And then as soon as you let go of that lever, it locks into place and it's solid. Then you just tighten it down. And when I say lock down, I mean lock down. You push those things in and it locks. And then you just crank a little pressure down on that handle. And man, I'll tell you, 1,700 pounds. Now, here are a couple other things I absolutely love about these clamps. Number one, there is no bowing or flexing on that metal at all. These things are built crazy, crazy strong. Not only that, what I love about this is when you crank it down, it does not adjust your wood or twist your wood or anything like that. A lot of clamps, when you try to tighten them down, you know, your wood starts moving around, not on this. It just stays put, man. They are perfect. I have never had a clamp that was able to do that. To be able to be so precise and so strong at the same time, it just sort of blows my mind. I'm actually mad at myself for not having these before. I think this is a complete game changer for anybody that wants to up their game when it comes to woodworking. But that is it. I mean, they're easy to use. They work flawlessly and just a great job. And I truly believe that they are the best you can buy on the market right now. That said, I want to know, have you used these Bessie K Clamp Revolution wood clamps? If you have, what do you think about them? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing your feedback. Now, if you like this video, if it's helped you in any sort of way, please don't forget to smash that like button as it is greatly appreciated. I always appreciate you stopping by and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.